in Jos, Nigeria, which is in the northern part of the nation, predominantly Muslim. We were in an outdoor field, a stage, and in an outdoor like a like a soccer field. And there were you know light poles and light standards, and and there were microphone uh, speaker poles out there, and typical kind of African crusade. We had started with about fifteen thousand people the first night, and there were a lot of miracles. The second night there were probably twenty twenty five twenty five thousand people. It's a huge crowd, and. The second night, the Lord gave me a word of knowledge about someone in the crowd who was crippled, that was being healed. I didn't know who it was. I just gave the word, hmm. and after a while, maybe five or ten minutes later, uh, the crowd sort of parted, and a young man came walking, jogging, and running through the crowd, and the crowd began to cheer and rejoice. And I had no idea what was going on. I'm on the platform with my interpreter, and. Uh, uh, this young man came up to the platform and came up the stairs, and started running back and forth on the platform. And the crowd was going wild. And I said to the interpreter, "What? What is this? What's happening?" Well, he told me the story that this young man was a, a cripple. He had never walked. His parents carried him to the post office each morning, where he begged for money. Everyone in town knew him. Many of them had given him money, and he had never walked. He had never stood up in his life. Now he's walking and he's running. Well, now I'm jumping and rejoicing about this time, and, uh, and he just went back and forth, totally healed. Well, the newspapers were there, and they they got his testimony and they interviewed me afterwards. And uh, the next morning, they put that as the headline on their daily newspaper. And uh, the next night, about fifty thousand people came uh, for for the service, the closing night, three nights. And uh, that night when I gave the altar call, about 25,000 Muslims gave their hearts to the Lord. Wow. That's probably, if not one of, possibly even the greatest miracle that I have seen in my ministry. Now I've seen other miracles like that right. uh, wherever I go, but that probably stands out above every other thing that I've ever seen.